the professor said something like, um, you know, they said, okay, who do you think are the most influential people over the last, like, hundred years or something? Yeah. And then when it got to Mike, he said, Adolf Hitler. Yep. It's absolutely true. Just because you change the world doesn't mean you change it for the better. He's not wrong. Yeah. I think that's a, a brilliant answer. But, all right. Uh, let's uh, get our introductions in. This is Evil Guacamole Gaming. We're having another Cards Against Apples or Humanity versus Apples or whatever it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is Evil Guacamole. I am Devil's Advocado. I am here with... Salty Dog Shrimp. With, once again, our one of our favorite special guests. Hi, it's Emmy. Hi, guys. What's up? And let's get started. Well, most guest appearances in Evil Guacamole Gaming history. Indeed. <laughs> uh, I, I believe I'm one of your very first guests. Yes, you are one of two of the very first guests. Yeah. Hurrah. Ha ha. So, I guess I am Cards are first. Hi, MTV. My name is Kendra. I live in Malibu. I'm into blank, and I love to have a good time. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Horrible, but really the only one that can possibly win. I'm <clears throat> <laughs> sorry, I just read one of these. God damn. Uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, MTV. My name is Kendra. I live in Malibu. I'm into a long central night with Luigi. And I love to have a good time. Uh, I am very partial to that. Uh, <laughs> Hi, MTV. My name is Kendra. I live in Malibu. I'm into so many fucking butts. And I <laughs> love to have a good time. So many butts. Oh. Uh, like, at the same time? Damn, Kendra. But what she if never it, said at the same time. But they have to be fucking butts. <laughs> they are butts primed for the fucking. Remember, um, Luigi does have a butt. I, I actually have to go with Luigi because uh, <laughs> uh, just I have, I have always been a fan of Luigi. I scored first point, y'all. Yeah. Wow. All the viewers do a shot. Emmy won. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Dr. Phil... How to talk to your child about blank. Dump entire hand. <laughs> <laughs> Do another shot. Uh, yeah, whenever uh, Salty <laughs> has to dump his whole hand. I should, uh, I should say that I am starting this drinking game not because I want y'all to get drunk and have a good time, but because I feel like you should suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Dr. Phil, how to talk to your child about having shotguns for legs. Yikes. Um, okay. Next time on Dr. Phil, how to talk to your child about a bobbit. <laughs> that game's complicated. Flick it. So, I have Flick a classic bobbit, and I want to tell you all that several times in my childhood, I beat that thing. As an adult, I find it. The batteries still work. I turn it on, and Jesus fuck, why is this demon screaming at me? <laughs> Twist it. Pull it. Pull it. Oh, yeah. It. Bop it wins, because... F they How do you discuss that? Having shotguns for legs just means you kill more demons. True. Yeah. Bop it's I however mean, you gotta explain to the child that even though I bought this for you I never want you to use it ever again <laughs> man this is bull honky frack blank 
this is usually used in a different way, but, uh, okay. <laughs> Man, this is bull honky. Frack a micro pig wearing a tiny ray coat and booties. <laughs> or man this is bull honky frack a lifetime of sadness hmm <laughs> ah, I, can't I would be really excited if I saw a micro pig wearing a tiny raincoat and booties Me oh too. I just I just figured you know squeal like a piggy uh, disturbing bestiality. I thought bestiality was funny. Um, <laughs> speaking of bestiality, what would well, Grandma we find? <laughs> we should have loaded up the furry pack if you wanted to talk about that. I, I don't want that much bestiality. <laughs> uh, what would Grandma find disturbing, yet oddly charming? Oh no, I got one that might win. <laughs> Uh, what would Grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? Unsheathing my massive horse cock. Uh, that is a charming horse cock you've just unsheathed. It's a little disturbing. Uh, what would Grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? Wet dreams. Um, I have to go with the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I figured as much, but to be fair, I would have played that card too if I had it. <laughs> I I saw the chance and I took it. To prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day Lewis immersed himself in the world of blank. Yeah. This you know what? This just sounds so genuine a Daniel Day Lewis role that he would go all method about. I have to play it. I don't think it's funny. To prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day Lewis immersed himself in the world of shipping convicts to Australia. You know what? You're right. <laughs> and yeah. men! Men! In the world of men. <laughs> men, 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 men. men. I don't That's know which one. one. I, I, if you want to go with funny, I mean, I think men is funnier. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's just uh, the the immerse yourself in the world of shipping convicts to Australia. That's just like, I yeah, I watched that movie. I see him on the boat. You know what? I'm giving you that because it's true. And now both of you have a point, and I have three. Yay! We're gonna lose again. <laughs> In the beginning, there was blank. And the Lord said, Let there be blank! End quote. <laughs> the beginning there was a sweet spaceship and the lord said let there be harry potter erotica <laughs> in the beginning there was Henri, or whatever that is and the lord said let there be a constant need for validation on we is is ah, i'll tell you later <laughs> it is the, the lack whatever. of desire to, to exist. The, Dear, the lack of desire to to do anything. It's like the emotion of depression. The the, the blank. Let me oh. let me do this easier. Thomas, have you ever seen it like boobies and stuff? The like hipster go almost goth kids who are like <sighs> I get everything about life. They're just done with everything. I can't even. <laughs> and, and not that's too much emotion for this. Yeah. We're talking uh, like eighties movies. Oh, like Predator. <laughs> Tom hasn't seen a lot of movies. <laughs> now think more like uh, Breakfast Club. The Breakfast what? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I, I've actually seen The Breakfast Club. You guys are impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's ennui. Dear <laughs> sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of blank has denied your request for blank. <laughs> Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of being John Malkovich has denied your request for pictures of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of the Great Depression has denied your request for existing. <laughs> that that that's very nice. <laughs> nice, Tom. That's a good one. Good job. I thought it was, I thought it was apropos for our ennui yes. discussion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? Um, this is a little weird because, like, it leaves out one of the blanks, at least on my screen. Uh-huh. But, it, it basically, after that with, it's a blank, so, uh... uh okay, so, the, I like this card because I watch so many weird cult movies and, like, D-list horror that this sounds like something I'd actually talk about. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on a on blank, and then there's some stuff about blank, and then it ends with blank. Okay, I definitely that's, that's how it's ending. Um, start there, and then in the middle is. Sure, that one. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on spending lots of money, and then there's some stuff about drunk on cock, and then it ends with every ounce of charisma left in Mick Jagger's tired body. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on enemas, and then there's some stuff about too much cocaine, and then it ends with just the tip. Tom, I'd vote for yours over mine. <laughs> and I, it's not even like, I kind of like mine, but yours is better. <laughs> Honestly, this sounds like some kind of 70s exploitation film. They both do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> We've, these are both movies that have been reviewed by the cinema snob. Yes. Ha ha ha! It's not funny. Um. <laughs> Points to enemas. <laughs> yes. And hey. Sal gets a point. Hey, you're tied with me. This <laughs> isn't even the only film featuring enemas I've reviewed this week. Exactly. <laughs> did, Bradley, I, did I ever tell you I gave him this awful scarf I knitted? <laughs> he was in town for a convention, our very first big convention here in Louisville and I panicked I wanted to knit him something nice but all I had finished in time was this awful orange and brown scarf <laughs> I made and he accepted it and he said he liked it and I just I don't care if he donated it or if it's something yeah. the cat lays on I'm just glad he accepted my awful scarf <laughs> uh it's not one of those. Also, one of those weird situations where if you don't have a common first name, every time you find someone else who has that first name, it's weird. Every time I try to tag you, uh, something on uh, Facebook, it tries to tag him. <laughs> uh, mm. let's see, Tom, you're reading. I'm Miss Tennessee, and if I could make the world better by changing one thing. I would get rid of blank. Someone walked in. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of. <laughs> then, there's, then there's the devil, Sadvocado. 
Yeah, it I'm... does look like that. <laughs> Devil said Vocado. Mm. I'm gonna go... <laughs> I'm... Let's see. If I could make the world better by changing one thing, I would get rid of the terrorists. That's definitely a, a good answer. Yeah, that... <laughs> I'm... Let's see. If I could get rid of one thing, it would be reverse cowgirl. <laughs> hmm. Are the two of these rated? Well, since a lot of beauty pageants have weird rules, like purity rules, like if the winner so much as mentions that they might have had sex at some point, they'd oh, be disqualified. True. Yeah, but this is like she would be going like I would get rid of that. It's exactly. Too, it's too tempting for, for. But at the same time, it's so specific. They'd be like, "How does she know?" <laughs> hey, we're actually all tied up. Oh my gosh, history. Yeah, I don't usually do this good. I, I'm basically summing up my Tumblr experience. <laughs>